Hi, Dudley Tal Stokes, LCP, where we give you the tools and techniques for sustained peak performance. Simple, inexpensive, effective, sustainable. CS, that's the measure we use. And today we deal with a very important tool. Up to now, we've been talking mostly about the body and how to get healthy. Now we're going to turn to our mind and how we use our mind to create and sustain the peak performance state throughout our body. So, off we go, mental relaxation. And what we learned to do here today is to relax mentally at will, regardless of where we are or the circumstances around us. So, we're living in an age of buzzwords which tend to be new words for very old ideas. Wellness, mindfulness, which used to be meditation, wellness used to be health. The probably is right to move, to change it to wellness or to have a new word since health has been hijacked by the medical, traditional medical machinery. Uh, and there's a great confusion between sickness and health right now. And that's reflected in how we name things like the World Health Organization, the National Health Service. All those institutions are concerned with sickness, spend very little time on health. So maybe wellness is not such a bad thing, or maybe we could change the names to reflect the fact that they are working on sickness. Work-life balance, intermittent fasting, Ayahuasca. You know, that used to be what the native peoples in America used to smoke years ago, but now it, um, it's been discovered and it's very expensive. Uh, but people are tripping out. People have been tripping out since the dawn of time. So we're rebanding old ideas and putting them in some very expensive dress. Well, what are we? CS. Inexpensive. Simple. So... This is how we're going to do it. We're going to keep it simple, stupid. That's an amateur. And that just refers to everything needs to be done at the lowest possible level that it can be done. Uh, and there's no need to complicate things. Complications will come as the situation demands. But we don't need to, to invent it. So what we have are applied techniques that are focused on results, not marketing. Mental relaxation. So mindfulness, which is part of wellness, all these buzzwords, um, I looked up this definition. A mental state achieved by focusing one's awareness on the present moment while calmly acknowledging and accepting one's feelings, thoughts, and bodily sensations used as a therapeutic technique. Now, WTF would be my first reaction. Uh, this is about the 20th time I've read this and I still don't know what it means. Our technique we call MR, short for mental relaxation. And it's relaxing mind and body at will to control the tension, redirect energy as needed, and use visualization to set and maintain peak performance state and or rehearse performance scenarios. Lots of concrete things in there that are real things that I've been doing in excess of 30 years, uh, the work, and we are now going to learn how we go about it. The first step to mental relaxation is voluntary or at will relaxation. Now, you can't have a relaxed mind in a tense body, so the first thing we're going to do is to relax the body. And we do this starting out through breathing. So put the tongue on the roof of your mouth, just behind your front teeth. Open your mouth. Breathe in through your nose for the count of four. Start the breath from way down in your belly and bring it right through your chest into your nose, your nasal cavity. Continue counting to 11 while holding your breath. So in for four and then hold and keep counting to 11 and then exhale through your mouth counting to 19. 
So once you get to 11, you start exhaling and you do it. You keep counting and you go up to 90. When you exhale, you deflate yourself, you deflate your chest, you deflate your stomach to the point of you bring your navel towards your spine, making sure you're pressing all of that air out. And then we do that twice more for a total of three breaths. So over these three breaths, you should feel your body relaxing. Posture. I prefer sitting, though I sometimes do this lying down. Uh, no, I, I can't manage any of those yoga poses and I don't think they're really necessary. On a stool preferably, or if in a chair, do not lean back. You need to sit up and get that curvature in your spine. So you, you sit up, pull your chest out and have the right posture. Your spine should curve and they are, you know, like in three places. So your lower spine, then you have a curve and then it curves back in towards your neck. Or if you lie on your back, no pillows, arms outstretched by your side, palm up. And so your muscles, clench your fists as tight as you can to the count of three and then release. And we're just getting the feeling of tension and relaxation here. You take a deep breath, scrunch your shoulders up to your ears and then relax them. With your organs, your stomach, just focus on your stomach and feel it. Your stomach getting soft and warm, soft and warm feeling in your stomach. Heartbeat, find your heartbeat, listen for it. You close your eyes, breathe, try to feel your heart. See the rate at which it's beating. And then when you can feel it, slow it down. Slow the rhythm of your heartbeat. Your heartbeat getting slow, heartbeat getting slow. Arms, legs and glutes. I like my arms across my thighs uh, with the wrists limp and then just feeling Heavy and warm, heavy and warm, limp, limp, heavy and warm. Let those shoulders come down. Feel the weight on your glutes if you're, you're sitting and even if you're lying, just feel your body weight pressing down. Feel all that weight on your glutes pressing into the stool. You're feeling the weight of your body. Then your heels as your thighs become limp, your calves become limp, heavy and warm. Then you feel the weight of your heels, the weight of your heels on the ground. So you're just feeling heavy. Now with your face, you want to feel the weight of your face. Just let your face go. Let your face come down. It's almost as if you're pulling on a mask that's just releasing all the tension, pressing everything down. And it's a facial mask of relaxation. Now we need to do this at will. So first you breathe or three breaths. Then we work on the body for relaxation and we start at the top. We pull on that facial mask of relaxation. Arms and legs limp, heavy and warm. Heart deep, calm and steady. Stomach soft and warm. Forehead cool. Imagine the blood flowing away from your forehead towards the back of your head. Now you repeat these things to yourself as you're sitting there with your eyes closed, having taken your breath, the facial mask of relaxation, repeat it two or three, four, five times, as long as it takes till you feel your face relaxing, till you feel your arms and legs limp heavy and warm. Don't move on to one until you've got the feeling in the other. Now it's time for your mind relaxation. To reset your mind. I'm supremely calm and relaxed. I am supremely calm and relaxed and focused on the present. Not in the present, focused on the present. And there is a difference. And we'll get to that in a moment. Imagine a tidal wave of blood flowing around your body, starting your brain. So flow that blood into your brain. Feel it flowing around your brain, flowing around your brain, flowing to the front, flowing to the back, flowing across, right to the left side. Down your spine, feel it flowing down your spine, right into the base of your spine, into your stomach, down in your lower stomach, up through your heart, down through your liver, kidneys. Just imagine it flowing, flowing, flowing through the chest, flowing through the lungs, down to the intestines, flow right through your legs, into your calves, down into your feet. Just flowing, your blood rushing through you, rushing through you, and you are in this rush of blood now. That's on the present. The 
in this rush of blood and all that matters is the feel and this blood rushing to different places in your, in your body. So you get your position, you do your breaths, you relax the body, then you relax the mind. And that is a, as far as we're taking it now. You need to practice this and master it so that you can relax your mind and body at will. It's the basis for several more techniques that we'll be doing. But even if this is all you do, it's going to go a long way to keeping you in optimum health and getting you into the peak performance state. If you are able to relax your body and mind at will, uh, release the tension, then you'll be much better able to create the correct tension for the situation that you are in on the present, but focus on the present. So the uses for this, first thing in the morning, I start out with a, a mental relaxation first thing, then some other mental work, and at least one other time throughout the day. So I try to get two in each day. Sometimes you need more, depending on the situation. Um, it's very good to get to sleep. If you're having trouble sleeping, practice a good mental relaxation, and you'll go right up. Anytime you feel that you're too much on the high side of tension, you can use this technique to bring you down uh, and relax you a bit so you can reset your tension. Okay. Thank you. That's all. We're going to leave it there today. Mental relaxation. Important tool, important skill for you to master. Practice it. Send me some feedback. Thank you for the support and look out for more great stuff coming from LCP. Dudley Talscopes. Check out our Patreon. We appreciate your support.